really want to just capture I had no intention for anybody to get hurt. I just found out about it, which is why I'm here right now. You know, I found out, you know, that there was a tragedy. I had nothing to do with, um, yeah. And people are really sick of reality TV, and this is this is the realest we're gonna get. And thought in America would have some interest in these random people having a drunken night or whatever. Like. Absolutely, America loves that stuff. Bring reality to reality television. I was just set on doing something great, something that people have never really seen before, something that's really done. They're just, they're just exploiting what reality actually is. The reality. And it wasn't our intention to for anybody to get hurt and trying to do anything uh, to harm anyone. It wasn't our intention to. He went about it in a way, I guess it would seem irresponsible. Excuse me. Filming a, an actual um, party. We were gonna film um, a live setting party. And you got permission from everyone? Not entirely. Okay. Nobody necessarily needed to know about it. I mean, I haven't done anything. Actually, you, you admit that you installed the cameras. Um, give that same. Okay, so you've done that. You admit that you did the editing. Yeah, I edited the film. Oh, Ramya, I mean, that credit card was your girlfriend's that was at the Ritz. Your own girlfriend. Just evidence. To me, it's horrible evidence of a horrible tragedy. Evidence of what? An accident, perhaps of a conspiracy, perhaps of a homicide, perhaps of a suicide. I don't know. There you're filming. And the whole time, you weren't aware of the fact that it was breaking that next day, that there was the fire, and you weren't aware about any of that. I mean, you literally... I had no idea about that. It was... does not make sense. <laughs> You mean you didn't talk to your girl? You didn't want to talk to your girlfriend after that party? I mean, you thought you were she, no, the way she had it, the way she had it, the way she had it set up was she wanted me to stay in the hotel room and she wanted me to edit the film. And obviously, she sounds like a, I'm no offense, a kind of controlling person. Um, what what did she want? People do crazy things every day. What was her vision? What did she tell you how to edit, or were you free to do whatever you want? She didn't tell me how to edit. She didn't tell me how to do anything. She just wanted me to edit bits and pieces of the film and send them out to the press um, every week, every couple of weeks or so. It wasn't anything. It was probably harmless. I wasn't doing anything wrong. I wasn't doing anything wrong. She rented me a room. Um, the essence of what it's like uh, to for, for, to uh, you know be on the head cusp on the of adulthood and responsibility. Whatever it was, you know, I just wanted. To, I really just wanted. I wanted something that we could believe in. Something that we could actually look at as true to being 22, 21, whatever it is, and graduating and being shown what our lives are supposed to be like. I wanted to show something to the public. And I think we got that. I mean, I'm sorry that people were hurt. I'm sorry that, you know, f you know, families are uh, destroyed or anything. You know, it wasn't my intention at all. My intention was just to make art and to make a really nice piece of film. Well, um, you know, you may have gotten that and you may have gotten your career, which is probably the whole, I mean, idea behind what you did. I mean, it was it your idea to do this or was it your girlfriend's? Who's, whose idea was it to even have this type of film, if you want to call it, happen? I mean, I really don't think it deserves to be called a film, but whatever. What do you think? Who was it? Your idea or hers? I mean, whose idea was it? Because to me, it sounds a little macabre. I mean, forget the deaths. Just this, I mean, I guess I can't separate it from the deaths, but... Tell me whose idea it was and, and from where it came from. I mean, you're a filmmaker. It must have been your idea then. Or was it not? I mean, did she bankroll it? Or was it... I mean, I need to know who's responsible for this. Because that is... I, I, if, if they died, I need to know why. I mean, maybe perhaps she arranged for them to be killed to make it... I'll put this on the map. No all one would right, really right, care right. about this. So you, know, you may be innocent. I, I, I'm hearing that. But it's possible that she was manipulating you. Do you see that part? That she could have been playing you the whole time? I mean, you sure this woman loves you? I mean, what, how solid is this relationship in your mind now that you look back at this, these facts? I mean, I've been dating for two years. I was dating for two years. Two years is nothing. I mean, you're just a kid. You don't even know. Two years is a okay. breath. But you really think, I mean, you guys playing married, getting married? I mean, her, her father is, I mean, I'm, I'm you know, not here, exactly man. I'm coming a, here just clear my name and just really just... Sure, but I need know, to understand. Do you understand? I, I don't appreciate, you know, uh, being interrogated. I just came here to just help out as much as I can. Uh, you, you, you realize that even if you had nothing to do with the fire, the fact that you filmed these people, which, by the way, three of these people did not pass away. They left the party early and whatever tragedy, either intentional or not, they fell there's other people. That, there's three survivors. Just them. You're, you're looking at civil liability for, you know, who knows? I mean, whatever money you have. So that, that, that's a side issue. But, but I just want you to understand that you're telling me nothing to do with the fire, but the, but the death of these people is what enabled your work of art, which I'll give it to you. It is a work of art attempt to be a work of art. It gave you that context. I mean, Robert, what is it? Roger Ebert it gave you four stars, but said it was, I think it was the quote, it was very convenient that the end, the, the, the fire would be such a perfect ending to what was an honorable intention. I think he said uh, in, in terms of your, your I had idea. no idea there was going to be a fire. Let's just 
put that. You had no idea that death would be the punctuation mark at the end of the sentence. That okay. was not. Yeah, it was not. Right. What it was, it was supposed to be the party ends and kids wake up and they have no idea what to do next. Okay. Next morning, they have no idea what's going on, and that was the beauty about it. Was it was it was. They didn't know. It was uh, uncertainty. You know, I think that was what I was going for. And, um, like a French New Wave kind of film, you're going to like let it like kind of dangle at the end with, with where they go and like yeah yeah okay, I think that's that's what I was looking for right well I've never seen any French New Wave so I, I I'm not you know really interested in that and I'm really kind of interested in how it seems to me that there's a huge huge logical connection between the fact that this party was not what it seemed to be it wasn't a party it was a manipulated event by your girlfriend it was it was a party it was a party for the graduates from this online college that's what, that's what they were that's what we were doing mm -hmm. and uh for everyone to get together and meet each other and it just happened to be that we were going to be uh filming them you know that's what i what that's what that's what we were you know that's what we're yeah, yeah. You know, and you i guess you are have no problem with taking a lie detector would that's you know, i have no problem with that okay. Uh, your agent now you have apparently so uh, again well off this yet. film and it's not a tragedy you're you're mentioned in variety this week um your name's out there it's a little bit convenient to me that you've profited off of this tragedy and i have not yet profited you had the choice of any agency you i mean you things have turned out well for you except for perhaps loss of your girlfriend which you by the way don't seem to be mourning that much i mean maybe again you weren't we make a decision about which way I want you this way again okay good and then that way okay this way it's gonna be so basically whether I'm physically here or whether I'm back there this is this is the guy the guy's here just so you know not there not there here you know this area here if you if I'm not there you can just look straight there um, but that's it so it's always off camera it's a little bit like that right. All right, that's it. Um, you are now you asked about movement now you want to shift? You want to do anything? Well, I mean, do whatever you have to do. Seeing, like, yeah, you're you're good. You can shift. Out. You you it's tight, but I can a I can move with you. Like, and I number go, two, like, I can go you can do whatever you want. It's actually sometimes cool to go out of focus. It actually looks really nice okay. for a moment. So this is really about. I, I direct, but I really like to collaborate, and it's wherever you Absolutely. think. And, and, and again, accidents are sometimes the thing. Telling you, arson. I had nothing to do with arson. This was my girlfriend. You know, planned on filming this party. <laughs> have your fingerprints all over them. What? Okay. Is reality. Uh, uh, one of what is your goal here? You 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 make yeah. actually admitting. Um, you weren't trying to make a tragedy. You're telling me. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Set to do. You certainly. But and let, let's let's pretend all that's true. Let's, let's say it's everything at face value that you say, and you're saying the truth now. Uh, obviously, you realize what you have, and you realize it's valuable. But at what cost? I mean, how can you even have any satisfaction about this when? Um, thanks to your videos that uh, best moments. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> oh.